In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play PlayStation 1 games on your 3DS from your 3DS menu. And we'll be doing all of this by creating a CIA file. So you don't even need RetroArch. But anyways, the most important thing is that this only works on the new 2DS and 3DS consoles. It doesn't work on the old ones just because they can't handle it. But now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So down below there is a link that will take you to this game brew page and it's for the PS1 Forwarder Creator 3DS. If you go over to the right you can see this download icon just click it and it will download a zip file in the bottom left. Now since we have our browser open still there is another link down below where it will show you the compatibility list so not all games actually work well. So here you can see which ones work and which ones don't. There's a, there's a lot of tested games, so before trying out games, make sure they work first so you don't put in the work of making the CIA file and then have it not work. It even tells you specifics, uh, like this sort of Camelot seems playable at 17 FPS, so that's good to know before you actually play it. But a lot of these, uh, 60 FPS and so on. So definitely check this out before you pick the games that you're going to play. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's open up that zip file we downloaded. Open up the PS1 forwarder creator here. Let's minimize this and just drag it onto your desktop. So you'll see PS1 forwarder creator. I'm going to put it beside my new Super Ultimate Injector games. We can close the zip file or files, I guess. And this is a good time to mention that the games need to be in chd format or pbd so just make sure you have them in that format otherwise they won't work and now let's open up the ps1 forwarder creator folder run the exe file inside and it'll pop up with this so here is where we get started as you can see it is very similar to new super ultimate injector you can create ps1 cia files on nsui but i've had a lot of issues with it and for this one you don't even need a BIOS, so it's very convenient. So let's build a CIA. So to get started, we need to select the game. So click select game. So just go to wherever you hold your games. Mine would be on desktop, NSUI, games, PS1, and here we go. So I'm just going to select Crash Bandicoot. There we go. We have it in there. As you can see, it says using HLE BIOS. So it already has one set up for you. Um, but if you have different ones, back on the website, it'll show you which ones work. So there's a list here that uh, if you do have the BIOS or want to go get it, here are the ones that work. It also says that a BIOS is not required, but it is recommended. So if you have it, I would suggest using it. But now we can change the long name to the game title. The short name, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Publisher Sony, great. We're going to leave the product code and the unique ID alone. We don't want to touch that, but we are going to customize the pictures. So as you can see, if you click banner image, you can select a image. Let's go download one on Google. So if we search Crash Bandicoot PS1, uh, the first one that comes up, you know, that one looks great. So right click, save an image as and save. Again, you can, you can pick whatever one you want, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to close, click on banner image. Go to your downloads and select the image you want so there we go that's what it looks like now you can play around with different ones but i'm just going to leave it like that i see crash bandicoot and that's good enough for me once you have all of that you can change the emulator options but if you don't know what you're doing here i would suggest just leaving it alone it will have it already set up there is quick presets that you can select quality focuses on the quality where max speed will sacrifice quality for the speed so i would just leave it alone unless you try out a game and it's not how you want you can select use hle bios i'm going to do that but essentially it should already be good to go and now we are ready to build the cia so just click build cia you can name it however you want and press enter and it'll inject rom and bios and everything it'll get it ready it is finished so if we go over to our where is it downloads there we go and we now have crash bandicoot cia now that that's finished i'm just going to go ahead and quickly create one for demolition racer and tony hawk's pro skater i'll meet you when i'm done and there we go i just finished creating the last cia file so i'm going to open up my downloads 
and here they are we got Tony Hawk demolition and crash bandicoot now we're gonna put that to the side and open up the SD card we used to mod our 3ds snap those together and we're gonna open up our CIAS folder if you don't have one create one but you also need to have FBI to install these CIAs but when you have your CIA folder open just grab your CIA files that we created and drag them inside and there we go, they are all inside, and that is literally all we have to do on the computer. We are ready to eject our SD card and head over onto our 3DS. I'll meet you over there. And once you're on your 3DS, just go ahead and go into your FBI software. Open it up. From here, just click A on SD. Scroll down to CIAS. Click A, and you should see your current directory. As you can see, I have three, but no matter how many you have, you can click A on current directory and you can install and delete all CIAs. This will install it to your device and then get rid of them so they aren't taking up space on your SD card. Or you do have the option to scroll down and select an individual one and install it that way, but I'm just gonna install them all at once. So install and delete all CIAs. Press A, press A again, and it will begin. These are a little bit larger because, you know, they're PlayStation 1 games, so this will take longer than, say, installing other apps or smaller retro games, so I will meet you when it is done. And that is the last CIA to install. Install finished, press any button. Each one took about three, two or three minutes, so it does take a little bit, but honestly not that long. But when those are done, you can click the home button. I'm going to close the software. <laughs> quickly before it gives you this pop-up saying new software has been added to the menu press a and let's check it out first one actually let's put them all together ah! 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 there we go so we got a Tony Hawk pro skater let's open it up that is how the banner looks pretty cool demolition racer very cool and crash bandicoot let's go that's pretty awesome so let's go ahead and try it out just press A to start it. That's, it's that simple. It's not even. You don't even need an emulator. All you need is to use the CIA file. Crash, bang, boom. Now we are playing Crash Bandicoot. Let's start it up and try see how it plays. You know, as you can see, this one plays really well. But weirdly enough, the Joy-Con here does not work. So you got to use the D-pad. Also, back on the website, it does show you a list of the controls. So if you want to see that, you can read more on the uh, website. And when you're in the game, all you do for the menu is tap here. If you just go into game menu, it gives you the options to restart game, save state, load state, and the controls. So as I mentioned earlier, the Joy-Con here did not work, so you could also probably switch that in here. But you can play with the controls on your own time. Let's go try a different game. So let's quit the game, and let's hop into Demolition Racer. <laughs> I forgot how awesome this game is. But here we go, Demolition Racer is also running very well. It's so crazy to play PS1 games on the 3DS, I don't know, it's just something really awesome about it. This one runs great as well. But anyways, this is how you play PlayStation 1 games on your 3DS. You don't even need an emulator, it's really awesome. Hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully you didn't run into any issues, but if you did, just comment below and I will try to help you out or you can join the Discord server linked down below. If you found it helpful, please leave a like. It really helps the channel out. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Take care.